skulls made of gold, gold. brains made of chrome, chrome. with iron chromosomes. Chrome. My skulls made of gold, gold. brains made of chrome, chrome. with iron chromosomes. Chrome. My <laughs> I'm back. I'm back. The special Christmas edition of Lion Heart Mind Explosion. I'm going to give you a special Christmas treat. Today, tonight, wherever it is where you are, more than afternoon. Hello. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. I'm going to talk about the one thing that everybody is trying to find the answer for. And I feel I've got the answer on Ultra Cheap Fighter 4. Or Ultra Street Fighter, the fifth character. Now, when I look at this, I've been looking on NeoGAF, Event Hubs, Show You Can, talking to a lot of friends. Now, I've been playing fighting games since the 90s. I can't play fighting games as hardcore as I'd like to be because of work and just life matters. And one thing I noticed about fighting games, uh, no matter how godlike it is, it doesn't pay the bills. Being a hero doesn't pay the bills. But it doesn't mean that I stop taking an interest in fighting games. I watch stream while I'm working. That's my television. One thing I've noticed is a lot of people are saying the same names. There's a pot, right? You have the occasional people that try to be smart and say names like Regina from Dino Crisis, Jill from Resident Evil, or Claire or Shepard from the Resident Evil series. Trying to be too smart. Vanessa from Piano 3. Too obscure. And it's just people trying to be too smart. It's like there's a box that everyone's stuck in. The one thing I know about the box is the box, in all its rigidity, signifies unimaginative thinking and painful frustration. So sometimes it is necessary to look outside the box to see if we can find the solution to our problems. I have had a rich history because I've played all these games since the 90s. There are some things that stick out like sore thumbs to me that people probably wouldn't because probably people are oh niners or they just didn't play the games at those times or it's hard to Wikipedia these games through Wikipedia. It can't be a character from the Street Fighter EX series because that's a Street Fighter game so that rules out characters like Hokuto and Blair Danes and all those kind of characters which would be cool to see characters like Sharon, Blair Danes, Bash but it couldn't be those characters. Can't be Ingrid from Capcom Fighting Jam. Ingrid from Capcom Fighting Jam? Yeah I think so yeah. That's a Street Fighter related game. It had Ryu, it had Yan, it had all those characters. It can't be Maki from Final Fight 2. She was in SNK vs Capcom 2. Can't be her. Mei Ling from Red Earth. Very rare arcade game, Capcom game. That's a hard game. If you know about Red Earth, well done. You are officially old school. Couldn't be her. She wouldn't fit. She was like a Kami character. She was actually like Kami. But she wouldn't fit in Street Fighter. She'd just be enough wrestler of Kami, basically. Then I thought it could be Tessa from Red Earth. No. Tessa, she was in a Super Puzzle Fighter. She wouldn't fit. She's like a magical character. Wouldn't fit. So we've already ruled out the names that everyone has been saying. Eliza, Ken's wife, could be in it. All, all those type of characters, Roxy. It's all the same names and predictable names and the names that aren't predictable are people trying to be too smart. So I thought of something that I fought for months. Now, I thought it could be a Darkstalkers character, but then if you put Darkstalkers character in Street Fighter 4, old Street Fighter 4, it'd basically be Street Fighter versus Darkstalkers 1.5 and that'd be boring. They wouldn't do that. They wouldn't. No character for Darkstalkers fit in the Street Fighter game anyway. A star gladiator character. There's a lot of female Star Gladiator characters. But then I thought so, that wouldn't work either. If you know Star Gladiator and Plasma Sword, again, you are officially old school. But then I thought to myself and looked at all the characters, Kaide, June, all those characters, they wouldn't fit. And then one thing hit me. There is a Capcom superstar that has been in multiple Capcom games. And I'm not talking about Dante, although it would be godlike if he was in like the Dark Stark Stalkers. Dante's my man. So the Devil May Cry 3, Dante. One entity popped to mind. This was months ago, but no one's come up with it. So I thought to myself, I'm going to wait till Christmas. And then I'm going to say it if no one else has said it. So I'm going to say it right now. Boom. Right, Kyoko? Rival schools. Project Justice. And that was my pick. Kyoko. Boom. That's who I think is going to be in it. That's who I think the fifth character is, but there's a lot of characters. I did make a short list of characters, and I thought about it. It couldn't be 
Hinata. Because Hinata's already been in the SHK vs Capcom 2. She's already been done. I wish it was Natsu, but it can't be Natsu. Or Tiffany Lords. Saki. It can't be those guys, especially not Saki, because she wouldn't fit. With the way her fighting style is and the way she has chains, she'd be unbalanced. It'd be like having a Soul Calibur character. Although Rolento is a street fighter, so we can't completely rule her out. But I don't think it could be Saki. And there's one other character, Akira. <laughs> Akira, I really like her. I think she'd be brilliant if she was her. But I don't think it's her. I basically think it is Kyoko. Do you even remember there was a character called Hideo? That was basically Ryu. When Ono said that the Capcom Cup 2013, it was a female character, he basically told us who it was or where the character was from. To me, she told me Kyoko. That's the perfect character that would fit. She has like a hurricane kick move, she has like a command throw move, she has like all these kind of like, like she's got Yun's up kicks. She's a bad, she's not, that's not, Rival Schools is not Street Fighter related. Even though Sakura, she's a superstar guest character that has been in EX games. Like, remember the EX Plus Alpha? No, 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 she wasn't in Puzzle Fighter. But she's in the Alpha series, and now she's in Street Fighter 4 series, and she was in Rival Schools, Project Justice. So to me, it makes sense that it's going to be a character from Rival Schools, and it's, my pick is Kyoko. Boom! So, that was my Christmas present for me to the internet, the millions, so the debate has started, you know, if you have anything to say, comment, put your comments down there, and I'll read them, and we could just go from there, I believe I'm the first one to say this, so, and I've googled it, so if you google it, you'll see there's no relation, a rival school's character being in Ultra Sheep Battle 4, so, there we are, so yes, that's me done, and take care internet, and live fabulously. Eons ago I was ordained with the powers cosmic The invincible invader, no one can stop it I'm putting your planet on curfew Extra to rest when you write on my rhymes in the form of crop circles Discovered in the arctic cold Laboratories explode for trying to clone my genetic code